Unbelievable. Where does Paul Millsap get off? And, and, and throw it at someone in my eye immediately. Seven of the bomb, Nets Republic. Where does Paul Millsap get off? Oh, it's going to be difficult to make this a clean version. Oh, but I'm going to try. Oh, I'm going to try so hard. Where does Paul Millsap get off demanding a trade? Unbelievable. This man has the nerve to not play. This man has the nerve to not be available to play and abandon us in our time of need where we're literally free falling down the Eastern Conference. We don't know what's going on. We're going game to game trying to figure out what's going on with our collective lives. And Paul Millsap has the audacity to demand a trade because he wants more playing time. You bum! And I've kept it so nice for Paul Millsap. As of recent, I've been demanding this man's wear of boots, but I have been calm and collective and controlled. Mr. Millsap, you are a bum. Take your things and get on the first flight out of here. Unbelievable. I can't take it. I cannot take it anymore. When we acquired this man, it was for... It was for, it was in free agency, but we had to decide between Alizé Johnson and this man. And they let Alizé Johnson go to acquire Paul Millsap in free agency. And just because Paul is not getting any minutes, because the minutes he gets, he is trash! And he got benched. And then all of a sudden, the man is MIA. I'm talking paper planes, bop, 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 and take your money. That's the type of insanity this man was on. Shout out Sean Teague and the South Beach Diet on that insanity. This man disappears from the team often. Literally often. The first time I think it was because he had a kid or something like that. And again, this is so alleged. Allegedly he had a kid or something like that. Or allegedly someone in his family is sick or something like that. And we were all like, oh, I hope Paul Millsap's going to be okay. I hope everything's going to work out. Then, if I remember correctly, wasn't he a part of the group that got COVID? And again, from what? Because you don't play. So what were you doing frolicking in the sun when you don't even play? But that's not here or there. And then everyone was like, oh, I hope Paul Millsap is going to be okay. And again, allegedly, I could be wrong on that. I don't know. I'm just really upset right now. And in this recent stretch, when man has been nowhere to be found, all we see on the scouting report is personal reasons, personal reasons, personal reasons. And what's with the Nets protecting the feelings of players all of a sudden? We didn't have that energy with Karis LeVert and Jared Allen, but all of a sudden we want to just be protective here. We want to protect Spencer Dinwiddie and make sure he goes someplace he wants to go. Well, we get a trade exception that we'll never use. We want to protect the feelings of DeAndre Jordan. Well, we get nothing back in advance because we want to protect his feelings. We want to protect the feelings of Paul Millsap and his privacy. So it's personal reasons he's not with the team. Personal reasons he's not with the team. Was it, was it, was it personal reasons when you traded the whole team for Harden? Was that personal reasons too? Let me not take this out on the Nets. I'm obviously still very salty about the trade. And I know I'm in the minority. I don't care. Y'all, the audacity of all this. Now, if it comes out that there was some like under the table, just nasty stuff going on and Paul just had to get out of there, I totally understand. But the nerve of a glorified Jeff Green replacement to demand a trade and then the Nets to agree to his demands. It takes someone demanding to be traded for the Nets to wake up and do something roster wise. Hopefully we get a center out of this because Jesus Christ knows we need it. This is, this is just so unbelievable. And the craziest part of the report is the fact that we have agreed to help him. We have agreed to place him somewhere else. When does Paul Millsap get to make demands? If you ask me if Atlanta's stupid enough, train for John Collins. 
I want John Collins so bad, y'all don't understand. And I know we can't afford him, but God, I want him so bad. Listen, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just floored. I am floored and decored at the fact that Paul Millsap is throwing his weight around backstage, behind the scenes. And again, if there is some crazy under the table shenanigans that I'm just not aware of that led to Paul Millsap asking to leave, then by all means, I take 20% of what I said back. And I hope everything works out for him and his future endeavors. But all I know is I've been watching the Nets get smacked around having four point guards out there and a rookie and we're just expected to make this work while Paul Millsap collects dust on the bench. And then when he is available to play, the man isn't even there. And what I mean by available, I mean like when we're down to like eight players, he won't even be there. But this man's asking for a trade. Goodbye, Paul Millsap. Seven man, young seven man said it. Goodbye, Paul Millsap. Now let's get a center and win this championship. Unbelievable. Who does Paul think he is?